Hello everybody, my name is Eric and I wanted to put together a quick little review on the Rockville RW10CA 10 inch subwoofer. Um, it's an all-in-one subwoofer, which means it has the amplifier all-in-one in the sub. And uh, first and foremost, I want to report that I'm making this review on a Pixel 2XL um, phone. So it's probably not going to be the best quality, but what I wanted to do was really just put together a quick little video of what I think of, of the sub itself because um, it is only a 10 inch. It is low RMS, which is low wattage. Um, so you're not gonna get a lot out of it, but what I wanted to do was find a little sub that I could put in my S10 that would give it a little bit of beats um, for a decent price. And obviously I don't have an extended cab, so I have very limited space and where I would put a subwoofer. I also paired it with the JVC KW uh, V330BT, which is $179 on Amazon. Um, it's a touchscreen DVD player with uh, Sirius XM um, capability, which I actually installed with it, um, as well as backup camera, um, and also the ability to use Spotify and things like that. So $179, $110 on Amazon, and then I paid to get it installed. Uh, so I had the XM antenna installed right on the top here. Let's see if I can get it to, there it is right there. And I also got the backup camera installed on my camper truck because I have blacked out the windows um, for camping and I can't see shit when I'm turning. So I really wanted uh, to utilize that backup camera. So back to the subwoofer, because this is the main point of the review is, you know, what kind of quality am I gonna get out of this 10 inch? Is it a piece of shit? I read the reviews on Amazon and that's what made me want to purchase it. But I wanted to give my feedback on that I'm actually happy with the subwoofer itself. It is very slim. I'm gonna give you an idea of where I had it placed. Um, sorry about the dirtiness of my truck. So I had it mounted right here. Um, it's very slim. You can actually close, let's see here. Put the seat all the way back and you can barely tell it's in there okay so i got it paired with this deck and the, the, the question is is what kind of quality am i going to get out of this little 10 inch and is it worth it um should i go bigger um i'm just going to say that if you have more space than i have um go bigger there's no reason why you shouldn't go bigger um, if you have a very small space, go with something like this. It, it, it honestly fits this uh, application perfectly. I've seen a lot of people put this 10 inch in spaces that are a lot bigger than this and some were um, not happy with the results and I can understand why. Um, so like I said, two seater truck. I've got it on shade 45 right now and I'm gonna turn it up and, and uh, I've got the knob down there, that's the base knob right there and I'm gonna turn it up and uh, we'll see what kind of power we can get out of it and I will say that there is enough power that I've had to temporarily put this uh, pencil right between the wall and this to reduce vibration because the 10 inch puts off enough power to vibrate in this truck um, so let's, let's go ahead and just see what we have here I got two stations Okay, we got. I think my heart was broken over to turn the lights on out. You know, you gotta understand. Like I, I was a what we you can sit out. heat, Travis Scott. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's turned down. The 10 inch does sufficient power. It really does good base for this space. Now this is a this is an S10 truck, okay? It's not a it's not um it's not a large vehicle. There isn't a lot of space for it to have to power. So for a two-door vehicle, something small, limited space, a very slim profile. 
this 10 inch is perfect. I can almost think about going all the way down to an eight inch subwoofer um, and being happy with it. But um, I'm happy with it. It was $110. The one thing that I was worried about when purchasing this uh, speaker was that sometimes they burn up, but I'm not too worried. I mean, where I have it mounted, I have the wires all professionally installed. If I need to, um, if I need to replace this, I just buy another one, mount it right where I have it, and um, the wires are already there. So 110 bucks, definitely. I'm gonna give this subwoofer five stars. Um, and with this $179 touchscreen, I swear to God, this is probably the best combination package that you could spend. Um, you know, under $300 and you have really good quality so with that i hope you guys um enjoy the review and hope you guys get this if you need it if you have a small enough vehicle um purchase it um if your vehicle is much much larger don't purchase it um you could actually buy two of these i could install two of these in here but i'm not into the base like i used to be so i only need one in fact like i said i could really just use an eight inch but um I'm happy with it. I hope this helps you guys out determining if you're going to spend your money on this sub that no one really knows about. But with that being said, have a great day.